Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey everybody, I'm Chris Perillo, and this is your Geek Out for today. Our Geek Out was brought to you by GoToAssist from Citrix. Take control of your IT world from one simple cloud-based platform. With GoToAssist, you can keep all of your systems up and running while keeping all of your users supported. That's important. Provide live or unattended support from anywhere, even from your iPad. Yes, there's a, an iPad app as well as a desktop app, which you can download right now. You get a free 30-day trial by visiting GoToAssist.com, clicking the Try It Free button, and using the promo code Perillo. We still have that Locker Gnome slash Chris Perillo desktop application for all you Windows users available. Uh, you can find out where to get it in the link at the description there. We've got it somewhere. I'm pretty sure it's there. Is Steve Wozniak's prediction of a web crackdown inevitable? It's no secret. Woz is a fan of Open, as I think anybody would be, unless, of course, you're a big fan of keeping things proprietary. And there's a time and a place for everything. I do believe that the future of the web is open. I mean, we have apps that we can download and install on our favorite platforms, but inevitably, I think we're gonna get to the point where a web native app could run theoretically just as well as an app that was natively packaged and bundled and coded specifically for the hardware platform. So what's the future? In your mind, is it open or closed? Would you buy a Windows RT Surface for $199? At $199, it's probably going to upset their Windows partners. That's, it's not going to upset, uh, uh, it's not going to upset users. At least I hope it wouldn't. That's a pretty good price for what you might get. What vision gives every home a smart power meter? I'm going to kick or I guess back this Kickstarter project, and hopefully kick it into production. It's a great idea. In fact, we published this on LockerDome.com late last night before anybody really knew about it. You may have known about it. I mean, it's cool, but it's one of the reasons we're doing what we do. We're getting that information out. You don't have to wait for these videos to stay up to date on this information. So if you do not have any kind of smart meters inside your house, you're really missing out. My thermostats are smart. In fact, I just signed up for a service that will allow it to automatically adjust, you know, to the temperature so that I can save money on energy. You guys got to get your homes smarter than they are because not doing that, if you have the opportunity to do it, is kind of stupid. I'm not saying you're stupid. I'm just saying it's a stupid idea to not be smart. Did OS 10 Mountain Lion kill Dragon Dictate for Mac? Uh, there's a lot of good options, but when you've got it baked into the OS, why get something more? So have you tried OS X Mountain Lion's dictation? How did it compare uh, for you uh, against other commercially available software? The meaning of free. You're watching this content and it's not costing you a thing. It it's free, right? I mean, we're not charging you for it. And in exchange for us doing this content for you for free, uh, you experience an advertisement from a sponsor or a partner or an ad vendor and you still get it for free. I mean, you give your attention and that's not free, but hopefully you enjoy the content that we bring you. And so part of that loop is making sure that everybody can get the bills paid. That's the bottom line. And, and so it may be cost free, but that doesn't mean it's completely free. Free is never fully free ever. There's always a cost to, well, the things that you do for free. Why higher green energy prices might be a good financial investment. So I had mentioned in a video, I think it was just a little while ago here, uh, that the energy company that I go through, and I have no choice, uh, it's kind of like a monopoly, uh, they say, hey, we'll charge you more to go with green energy. And I thought, well, why would I pay more to make the world a greener place? And I guess those costs kind of add up. I mean, I, I, I would rather be doing something right for the environment and potentially even lowering costs for myself at some point in the future. I try to be energy conscious. I do my best. In fact, if you tune into the live video feed at any point during the day, uh, you see a darkened room because I, I turn the lights off. I don't need them on. And I know that's not great for my eyes, but I do my best to save energy. So apparently uh, higher green energy prices might be a good financial investment for you. I was interested to learn that, and I may have actually reconsidered my choice. Is this robotic mosquito real or fake? There's a photo that cropped onto our radar the other day, and we did some uh, looking into this and still really don't know whether or not this was actually done. I mean, it's kind of a mosquito conspiracy theory of sorts. It's kind of interesting, I mean, to have a robot that small that could do things, but also kind of spooky if you think about it. I mean, those drones could be anywhere and everywhere right now. And that technology, if it's not here today, is coming. 
So what do you guys think? Is that thing real or fake? Why do people care about Miley Cyrus's hair? Seriously, we, we did a, a whole article on this, and it's actually very interesting. Twitter exploded with Miley Cyrus the other day when she got a hairstyle. Even Diana asked me. She said, oh, did you, did, did you know what's going on with Miley Cyrus and Anderson Cooper? I'm like, who? Face deals. Helpful or horrifying? A business supporting face deals, this service, would basically put a special camera at the entrance of a store. Then the camera basically reads and recognizes faces of people as they come in and sends coupons or deals to their phone while they're in the store. It's a little creepy, but yeah, I'd do that. I'm all about saving money. Who cares if you know my pant size? Which, by the way, is larger than I would like it to be. Flash for Android is dead. As of tomorrow, it's, it's pretty much a goner. Sorry for all of you who thought Flash was necessary on your mobile device. Turns out that some of us were right all along. A new modern SkyDrive.com updated apps and Outlook.com at 10 million users. Said it before, the day they launched Outlook.com, I, I really like the design ethos that Microsoft's doing. They're bringing their sexy to the table. Khan Academy redefines introduction to computer science. Man, I wish Khan was around when I was growing up. Khan! Oh, come on, you saw that one coming a mile away. YouTube viewer Craig Strachan writes, what's the best cloud storage for storing photos across Ubuntu, Android, OS X, and Windows? My recommendation, Dropbox. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I know, I know it's not perfect, but it's about as close to ubiquitous as you can get. LockerGnome.net user Bob Popo 23 writes, what was your favorite cartoon as a kid? I always liked the Laugh Olympics. I don't know if that was my favorite though. I enjoyed G.I. Joe and the Transformers. It depends on, you know, with the time of the week or the time of the day. Afternoon cartoons or Saturday morning cartoons, which I guess they don't have anymore, which is a little disappointing. That same user on LockerGnome.net writes, What are some common misconceptions about geeks? That all we do is watch YouTube videos and like the ones that we really appreciate. Get the hint? We'll eat you later. I want that hamburger for free!